Praise the Lord, beloved. This is Dr. Roberts coming to you. You still have a few minutes to get out to Wednesday night Bible study. If not, you can tune in live online at www.wordoflifetv.org. Then go to the menu bar and click on the television or TV, and it'll load right up to the station. You can go to your Roku box and go to iPoint TV. Go to the iPoint TV television network. Scroll down that menu bar, look for live television, and it's going to pop right in. Glory to God. You can also get it on your smartphone. Or look, go down and load our app. We got a new app. If you got any app store, Android, iPad, iPhones, uh, uh, tablets, all, all kinds of things. But we have an app. We're on Google, uh, Amazon. Just go and put in, go to the app store and go to Word of Life CC. Word of Life CC. If that's not it at your store, go in Word of Life Community Church. Load our new app and you all will always be accessible to you. But I'm teaching here on Wednesday nights on God desires to talk to you or to speak to us. And uh, a lot of times we don't know it, but God wants to be involved in every intricate detail of our lives. And hearing from God is pertinent, especially in these last hours. And we need to train our ears and train our spirit, man, to hear from God. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked about how man has at least three voices that speak to him all the time. The voice of God, the voice of the devil, and the voice of your human spirit. So all through life, what we're trying to do as believers is, is, is differentiate between those voices. But once we learn that no one but Jesus Christ sits on the throne of our lives and we don't hear the voice of the stranger, we hear the voice of the good shepherd. Let me tell you something, beloved. Every time you hear something positive and you used to say something told me, I want to submit to you that something was the voice of God speaking to you by the instrument of his Holy Spirit. God wants to talk to you. He wants to direct our lives. He wants to keep us from making all the mistakes. But we got to be tuned in. God's talking. But are we listening? Come on out or tune in tonight and find out more about how God desires to speak to us. When he speaks to us, he speaks spirit to spirit. That's why it's imperative that we develop our spirit man. The Bible talks about the hidden man of the heart. I know most of the time you hear that scripture, it's always implied with, uh, about women and how they should dress. But when the Bible speaks in my heart, it's talking about my spirit. And it says that this hidden man of the heart, David said, thy word have I hidden in my heart, tucked away in my spirit. Just like you recognize your parents' voice, God desires that we recognize his voice. Come on out or tune in and be blessed of the Lord because God, he desires to speak to us. God bless you. I'll see you real soon. Stay encouraged. Stay prayed up during this Mardi Gras season. Continue to show God that he's first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. Happiness is a choice. Choose to be happy and allow the joy of the Lord to overtake your life. God bless you. I'll see you real soon.